Hey guys, welcome to The Strong Young Man. When I talk with people about healthy lifestyle practices that will enable them to live to a ripe old age, I'm frequently met with the response of, I don't want to live till I'm 100, I'd rather die than become sick. I understand why people respond this way. Who the hell would want to live out their twilight years being dependent on others to take care of your sick body and brain? Unfortunately, these people are ignorant to the concept of health span. Your health span corresponds to the portion of your lifespan that consists of health without disease and other health-related limitations. Most of the time, the human health span is between 50 to 70 years, and the average lifespan, at least in Australia, is 84.5 years. With the increased state of abundance, humans are growing fatter and growing disease at a much higher rate. Modern medicine tries to combat this disease and has advanced so much in the last century that the human lifespan is often prolonged much longer than the human health span. People become sick and obtain diseases due to poor lifestyle choices, and then modern medicine is able to prolong that lifespan without actually improving their health span. It's up to individuals to engage in good lifestyle practices that prolong their health span before it deteriorates. Negative lifestyle practices accumulate as you age, but the tab starts from birth. This means that if you're young, you're not in the clear. You should engage in the health span extension practices outlined in today's episode if you want to live out your twilight years being unencumbered by physical limitations and disease. This episode is made to get everyone to consider the possibility that you can prolong your health span to enable it to marry up to your lifespan. If you adopt these lifestyle changes, not only could this add 20 years to your lifespan, but it will enable your health span to extend until your death, which could effectively give you an extra 40 years of life. So what causes aging? Aging occurs due to the accumulation of damage to your DNA and mitochondria. These changes happen to you slowly over time so that you don't notice them as they occur. The following are triggers that accelerate the aging process and will result in your health span becoming much, much shorter than your lifespan. Number one, free radicals. When free radicals are present in the body, they can oxidize DNA, proteins, and cell membranes. They cause damage by stripping electrons from the outer shells of atoms, aging the body faster. Sources of free radicals include air pollution, smoking, inflammation, chemicals, medicines, metabolic processes, UV light, and other radiation such as X-rays. Antioxidants will neutralize these free radicals to some degree by donating electrons of their own before cell damage occurs, but they can't neutralize it completely, and so aging from cell damage accumulates over time. Antioxidants can be found in foods such as berries, citrus fruits, herbs, spices, coffee, and tea. Obviously, you should be consuming a diet with sufficient antioxidants, but the best way to reduce this type of cell damage is to moderate your exposure to free radicals. Number two, growth. Anytime you do something that induces a net state of growth or makes your cells grow faster, you age faster. All cells grow when consuming food in excess, and this includes cancer cells, which grow along with healthy cells. When food is plentiful, humans and animals grow, but they also age quickly. It is obvious that eating more food will result in more growth, and this should be encouraged in any phase of life that you are intending to grow. But for an adult who is not growing, breastfeeding, or pregnant, periods of growth must be balanced out with periods of deprivation in order to remain healthy. I've covered the dangers of being in a permanent state of growth, especially as an adult, in episode 75. The reason that growth promotes aging is due to the phenomenon known as the Hayflick limit. The Hayflick limit is the number of times a normal somatic differentiated human cell population will divide before cell division stops. Each time a cell undergoes division, the telomeres on the ends of each chromosome shorten slightly. Cell division will cease once your telomeres shorten to a critical length. Being in a constant state of growth accelerates this time frame, which will see your cells reach their hayflick limit sooner. Also understand that being in a constant state of growth in the presence of lots of free radicals is the fastest way to cause cancer. The free radicals turn cells cancerous, and being in a constant state of growth will ensure the cancerous cells multiply and metastasize. Number 3. Inflammation The top four killers, diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular disease, and strokes should all be labeled as the one super disease because they all have the same root cause, inflammation. This is the genesis of almost every single disease that plagues Western civilizations. Inflammation is a state where cells multiply rapidly to repair the body from DNA damage. If you spend a lot of time in a state of inflammation, you will induce a state of rapid cell multiplication. Inflammation can be caused by a number of different things, including grains, gluten, processed glucose, and omega-6 oils. Chronic levels of stress can also put you in a state of high inflammation. Number four, stress. Stress will further shorten the length of your telomeres as the cell division occurs. Stress is also linked to a weakened immune system which allows other illnesses to infect you. Higher levels of chronic stress over long periods also correlates to higher rates of chronic disease, including cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, cancer, and diabetes. Metering the levels of stress that you experience is key if you want to prolong your health span. 
Check out episode 39 for a full breakdown on why stress is so detrimental to your health and how you can reduce the stress in your life to slow down aging. Number five, advanced glycation end products. Glycation is the process by which sugar that's floating around in your circulatory system bonds to proteins or lipids. These are called advanced glycation end products or AGEs. These AGEs do in fact cause you to age faster through oxidative stress in the body. Chronically high blood sugar creates hemoglobin glycation damage. So too does the fat in meat exposed to high heat. Charred or deep fried meat also releases free radicals that cause cells to mutate into cancer upon consumption or breathing in. The formation of AGEs will happen within everyone to some extent. To reduce the rate of AGE formation, avoid deep fried foods, don't overchar meats and keep blood sugar levels in the normal range for most of the day by consuming an all natural diet. Reducing exposure to these five triggers that cause aging as much as your lifestyle allows you to is half your battle to prolonging your health span. The other side of this is to engage in practices that make you age slower. Here are some ways that you can slow down the rate that your body ages. Number one, calorie restriction. Calorie restriction with optimal nutrient intake is the best life extension tool known to date and it's totally free. Actually, it'll save you money. Restricting calories, including protein, fats, and carbohydrates, increases AMPK and reduces overall growth, which increases longevity. This is observed in multiple species throughout the animal kingdom, not just humans. All food causes growth and oxidative damage, although healthy food causes much less damage than unhealthy food. The more food you eat, even healthy food, the more damage you cause to your body. So consuming the wrong foods, even on a calorie-restricted diet, will still promote aging to a significant degree. Calorie restriction will reduce your metabolism, which will mean that you burn less energy. But if weight loss comes along with this, it will mean that you spend more energy per kilogram of body weight, but burn less energy overall. This will mean that you have more energy. If your body can operate the same or better on less food, then you improve your health and you increase your health span and lifespan. Interestingly, I operate best physically and mentally when I perform a prolonged fast. You don't need food for energy for short periods if you are well nourished. Number two, fasting. Fasting is a supercharged form of calorie restriction with all the benefits and then some. I've broken down fasting and how to do it properly in episode 32, but essentially fasting accelerates autophagy, the recycling of cells within the body. A large reason for fasting's benefit when it comes to longevity is that it reduces the release of the nutrient sensors insulin and mTOR, which reduces the growth of healthy and unhealthy cells. Fast releasing carbohydrates and protein promote the most nutrient sensor signaling. These nutrient sensors signal to the body that food is abundant and primes the body for growth. As I said, when food is abundant, people grow faster, but they also die faster. During periods of famine, it is counterproductive to increase growth and metabolism because this would only accelerate our death. Having children during a famine might kill the mother and the child, and this is why women who slash their calorie intake to resemble a famine often stop ovulating. The menstrual cycle is also metabolically expensive, so it's paused to conserve energy to promote and prolong survival. Getting to this state of starvation is not healthy for you, and I'm not suggesting you take it this far. If your body starts to shut down non-essential functions, it's a sign of too much deprivation, and you need to increase nutrient sensor signaling. Just understand that through many periods of famine, the body has evolved to promote longevity to be able to survive the famine and then reproduce when food becomes abundant. Because of this, fasting is not recommended for anyone who is in a growing phase of their life, including anyone under 22, pregnant women, or breastfeeding women. Another reason that fasting improves longevity is that it assists with improving inflammation. It will also ensure your body swaps over to using ketone bodies for fuel, which have their own neuroprotective and cognitive benefits. Sometimes we need growth and sometimes we need recycling. The ideal schedule is to cycle these states regularly because it's in the balance of growth and longevity that we find optimal health. Number three, movement. Several blue zones exist around the world where there are an unusually large amount of centenarians or people over 100 years old. A common observation among these people is their attitude to movement. People in these zones take every opportunity to move. They incorporate exercise into their daily tasks by taking the stairs or walking to the shops and so on. Most people are active right up until the day they die. They are unencumbered by the slowing down that old age does to us in the West. If you concentrate your life around movement rather than exercise, you'll be able to lead a far more physically active life for longer. Continuous movement will also mean that you will be able to exercise to maintain your health into your old age. Number four, strengthen your immune system. A healthy body is an unfriendly environment for disease. To have your immune system attack foreign pathogens before they take over is the best way to prevent yourself from getting sick. This requires you to cultivate a lifestyle that keeps your immune system strong and healthy. Refer back to episode 64 for a full breakdown on the practices that harm your immune system and the practices that strengthen your immune system. Age is a great promoter of disease. Rates of ill health rise exponentially with each passing decade. 
You must understand that longevity is about extending youth, not about extending old age. You want to extend your youth by adopting better lifestyle practices while you are young. Immediately, you'll start to feel different. You'll feel years younger, and this will improve more and more as your hormones, DNA, protein, cell membranes, and organs repair the damage from your old lifestyle. When you adopt these practices, you stop aging in its tracks. You want to do this before the damage becomes significant, because there is no way to reverse some forms of aging. When you grow older without physically aging, your attitude to aging will shift from bad to good. This is because you've eliminated all the negatives that come with growing old while acquiring knowledge and wisdom. Time is your greatest asset as a man, as long as you use it wisely and don't allow yourself to become weakened by it. Thanks for watching today's episode. In episode 121, I'll unpack why 30 is not the new 20. Subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when it drops. Catch you then.